da -da 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 -da, DIY. <laughs> hey guys, it's Brittany, and I'm gonna show you how to take old t-shirts and make necklaces and bracelets, and yep, let's do it. You are gonna need old t-shirts. I got these at the thrift store for like a dollar each, and they're men's size medium or larger. They have to be big shirts. Electrical tape, mmm and regular scissors and fabric scissors. If you bought your shirts at a flea market or thrift store like me, you're gonna wanna wash them before starting the creative process. I'm gonna be showing you first how to make a necklace. What you're gonna do is take your fabric scissors and cut off all the seams on all the shirts. I'm not gonna be using any part of the shirt that has a logo because I want the color to be uniform. Then you're gonna take your fabric scissors again and cut the fabric into roughly one inch strips. And don't worry about being too exact, just do your best. Take the strip that you just made and yank on it. This causes the fabric to roll and it gets it ready for braiding. I'm gonna be using about six strips per necklace. You wanna gather them up and then find an electrical tape color that you wanna use. And with your regular scissors, cut off about a three to four inch piece. Then you're gonna wrap that tightly about two inches from the top of the strips. Using my foot as an anchor, I'm going to pair the strands into groups of two, so I have three separate strands that you just braid. When you get to the end, take another piece of electrical tape and wrap it securely around it. Using your fabric scissors, cut off the excess on both ends. More electrical tape, yay! I'm gonna use it to secure the ends together in the middle. And from here on out, it's up to you. I'm going to be putting about three to four more electrical tape bands on the necklace to add color and it kind of looks like cool plastic beads. You can always measure to be exact or just eyeball it. To make a bracelet is exactly the same process as a necklace, just shorter. Make sure that it isn't too tight and that you can easily roll it onto your wrist. Once you have a length that you like, you can always measure it or use it as a guide for all the other bracelets. Another option is to mix and match the colors if you want a little more pop. Or you can do my favorite thing, which is add charms. I purchased most of these at the craft store. You can just slide them on and braid them in. You can wear them all together or buy themselves and mix and match and they're super fashionable and easy to make and cost effective and just amazing. I am done. So cool, love them so much. And I am doing a giveaway, surprise, surprise. I'm gonna give away the three sets that I made. So there's four necklaces and four bracelets in each set. And there's the multicolored, the simple, and the bling. So if you wanna to enter to win, click thumbs up and favorite this video and leave me a comment or video response letting me know which set you want. Do you want multicolored? Do you want simple? Or do you want bling? <laughs> Let me know, and I love you guys. And this was a really fun video, and I don't know why I'm talking like this, and I am gonna go. <laughs>